What's up, YouTube? This is Fox Out Gaming. Today we're here with Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. We just started playing this game, so we're gonna start covering it. We are addicted. We are addicted, and it's a really good game. Yes. Definitely, definitely check it out, and you can check it out in this video too. But um, we're gonna be covering news. We're gonna be covering decks, strategies, everything about this game. Um, so oh, yeah. so to we're gonna start off with today a uh, new patch dropped. This morning, or today, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it was at midnight. Yeah, uh, so, first off, today, it's what, a new thousand points for every... Yeah, it's an event. I think it ends yeah. the 20th. The 20th, yes. Yeah, it, it ends the 20th, and you get an extra thousand points for each duel. So even if you lose, and if you have no idea what we're talking about, just play the game and duel once, you'll see at the end of the game, or end of each duel... You yeah. get points based on like certain things you do in the game. Yeah, you get a reward for every thousand points you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up to a max of eight. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just to put in perspective, that six thousand points is considered good farming. Yeah. So like just getting an extra every single time. Yeah, it's it, good. It so if you're gonna start the game right now, it's a good time. Yeah, start the game right now. See, we're gonna try to get a game in. We're 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 gonna show you. On the screen. Normally, you get two thousand points for just winning. Now you get three thousand. Yeah. No matter what, which is incredible. Well, yeah, you get three thousand for winning. Ooh, it's an Umi deck. I might just lose. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Uh, we'll see. Right now, I'm doing the auto duel. I'm not actually playing. So. Yeah. If you don't have any idea what that is. Then... So we're we're gonna show you. It's oh, normalization. I win. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna show you the extra reward you get on this so like that polymerization alone is going to give me extra points uh tribute summoning would give you extra points but then you don't add up to a free thousand a free thousand yeah, free is just thousand an automatic is, extra prize it's a lot so people who play the game you definitely know yeah you know what's up okay so see dual victory is at three thousand it's usually two mm -hmm. so that's an automatic extra prize i would have three prizes instead of just one right now this yeah, is, this is a brat. This is terrible prizes this time around, but yeah, but it it puts it in perspective. Yeah, those, you normally you get keys and stuff. And yeah, that starts adding up quick. Those could be keys, which so point is right now, good time to start playing every duelist you get. You get an extra reward. If you already are playing, good time yeah. to use dual orbs and yeah, farm up duelists really a lot right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So, another thing that happened here was they added a lot of new cards to the Legendary Duelist card pool. Yeah, they um, added uh, secret rares and a bunch of normals and rares, but today we're going to go over just the secret rares and what we think of them. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, super rares. Oh, I keep, super rares. I always YouTube's call them secret rares. YouTube's going to get you on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't the, know why I keep calling it secret rares. These are all super rares, uh, so they're the highest rarity yeah except the ultra rares well, yeah. from from the duelist but you get what we're saying anyways anyways yugi's card is a uh, guy the dra the dragon champion and he's pretty terrible yeah this <laughs> is a pretty bad card because um, using cards that are barely weaker than this one in the first place it's just not worth it yeah and there's no deck that uses it, this or the it, cards it's it costs two cards to make yeah, when you three. could just make a thunder dragon it costs three sir oh well yeah it costs three so it costs three cards, whereas fusing to a twin-headed Thunder Dragon nets you an extra 200, and you only need one Thunder Dragon to start the sequence. Yeah. So, Guy Dragon Champion, bad. So, <laughs> Kaiba's card is a Familiar Knight. Familiar Knight, yeah. Now, he's... he's alright. I think he's fine. Like... like I mean, it's just like... It, it, it's a, a three-star that gets you, uh... like, a four-star... Yeah, it but, needs to and be it a... also lets your opponent summon it, too. So, it's a really niche effect. Oh, shoot, it is a each player. I didn't yeah, see that. so it's a really niche effect, and it's symmetrical, too, which means it's going to see less play. It just, it needs the right deck. Yeah, if there's a that game cares that about does it. a four-star or something that can just, yeah. like, easily turn the game around, then sure, it's good. Yeah, but... so it it's not, you don't need it right now, for mm -hmm. sure. So Joey's card is Guildford the Lightning. Joey's card is probably one of the most interesting on this list. He, um, he's not bad, but he's not good. Like 
Yeah, it's it's Take. three tributes to pull off his. Uh, what is Dia- Daedalus? Yeah, He's two di- tributes. Yeah, Daedalus, you cheat into play. So yeah, so th- this is a card that maybe we'll see a way to cheat him into play later. But the but fact that you can't use um, what's it called, stray lambs on in to speed yeah, it up. Yeah, because he can't set them. Yeah. Uh, with so, the effect. But the effect is amazing if you get him out. It's just a win. Yeah. I mean, you pretty much win at that point. Yeah, destroy all your opponent's monsters. So, so that's, it's, it's it, all right. It, it's interesting because it's a big finisher. This deck, is this game's kind of light on big finishers that are viable right now. So yeah. we'll we'll see if they're, we can get a way to use them. Amazon. So, so, okay, now Mize we're on to card. Mize. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So Mize, I think Amazon it's... Amazon is Swordswoman. Yeah, I think it's okay. Oh, it's definitely a good swordswoman. I yeah, mean, I mean yeah, Amazonist. Amazonist. <laughs> Amazonist. Yeah, definitely. Um, if I don't know how viable that archetype is right now, though. I don't think it is because you can't start with their field spell in play. Oh, you can't. No, yeah, so you're kind of a step behind. Yeah, if you could, though. That would if you be amazing. could, it'd be worth considering. Oh, I think this deck would be great if you could. Yeah, so it's just uh, 4,000 life points. Life points are a lot more valuable. And the fact that she can force a lot onto the opponent. Oh, yeah. It's it's really... It's, 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 it's a, solid it's a card. fine card. Yeah. Not saying great PvP or something like that, but... No. It's Man, usable. It's, it's usable. super usable. If you, like, if you just want to make a fun Amazon stick, then she's a great card to add to it. So. Yeah. So, uh, Taya. Or T. <laughs> Taya. <laughs> so, Dying Keto the Cure Master old card just so straight up a thousand life points yeah base basic card you're probably gonna want to pick them up just yeah you, you'll probably want to farm them just for this like farming decks like yeah a cerberus deck like this is fantastic in cerberus against kaiba yeah because his he, level 40 is a pain in the ass yeah because this actually might be really good for cerberus because you can run the supremacy berries and the dying oh, that's keto. what i was just about to which one where's the supremacy berry? there we go yeah, yeah you can run both of those and they act as a boost for cerberus if you're already ahead or they help you survive the the one or two hits that you need yeah exactly because surviving those one or two hits is yeah, kaiba a, always gets to that point where he's like yeah. oh i can just kill you now even if i lose my crap so i'm just gonna throw my blue eyes at you yeah kaiba can practically two shot you with a horse raider so so not, sol- it, solid enough to farm yeah it, it, it's not a competitive card no. but it's you're gonna want it for yeah. the farming you'll want weaving. it eventually okay so now, uh weevil now we're on to weevil right he's got the grass chopper grass chopper so i actually really like this card this card is pretty cool it's twenty three fifty, right? Which is pretty high for a one tribute in this game right now. So that alone lets it see a, a decent amount of play, at least in casual. But the big part is is that there's insect imitation, there's pinch hopper, there's a lot of ways to be cheating this guy exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah, insect um, decks aren't terrible, so this will be a good add. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's definitely good. I yeah, think you, I mean, you a get lot attack of, three times. A lot, yeah, a lot of ways to use them. I think it's a fantastic card. I think it's one of the better ones in this slot. Yeah, it's one of the good ones. Yeah. yeah. So now we talked about a really good one. Let's talk about a really bad one. Uh, oh, Serpent no. Night well, Dragon, right? Well, let me oh, change we on... my character real quick so we can look at Rex's. Oh, right. Yeah. So Serpent Night Dragon, it's just. It's what was when Legend of Blue Eyes came out in the original game. It's just it's a two tribute normal monster for twenty three fifty. It's not. So it what, doesn't fit in any dragon decks or anything. It's not. Yeah, it's just I mean, straight up. It's probably the worst one in this. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, is. even guy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they're both. They're both. They're pre- both pretty pretty down bottom there. of the barrel. Like, yeah, that's that's uh, a hard argument to say which is worse. Yeah, Honestly. yeah, it's just you get a red eyes dragon. So if you're looking for terrible two tributes, Serpent Night Dragon is even good enough for that. So, All right, uh, so on to more important stuff. Mako's card. This is good ad. I I think this is a really good card actually. I think it'll go good in the Mako decks maybe. 
maybe, maybe. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I need to look more into the Mako decks. What is this? And, it's and a play around fish. With it. So I mean, yeah, it's an Aqua. It's it's it's, a, it's in the it's, Mako computer decks. Like at my level or stage, oh, yeah. the play the standard duelists all that play the Umi decks. Yeah, they play him, and it's, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Because it's a freaking goblin yeah, attack force. Yeah, because... If you want it to be. Yeah, that's the good part, is that this card, I think, is really good. And I think you're right. I think it could see play in the Mako yeah, deck, I because... Mean, I'm sure some people are going to use it. Yeah, it can clear the field after you're a little behind. It can take out a big monster after you're behind. Or you can just swing for 2300 or, if you can yeah. get, sneak it in. But yeah, or you can sneak it in. Somehow cheat in... Da- Daedalus, however you say it, cheat and clear da- the field and then, <laughs> and then throw some, him, yeah. cheat him into or whatever. Yeah, that's like there's so much crap you can do with that deck. So I, I think he can, he'll be, he, he might be used. Yeah, if not, he'll be in other. He'll just be in decks because I think people will like him. Yeah, we'll definitely be testing him for sure. Oh yeah, uh, see how much he actually does ah uh, so stim pack from bandit keith stim pack uh this this card is good it's good um it, yeah it's good because dual links the uh, power level yeah a little, it's just power levels a little just lower the biggest so, creature right now it's basically the name of the game so yeah it's a big old equip spell and it makes you and your card it's big the turns don't wait is what is it during yeah, each of two, your standby phases, yeah it's, it's 200 not, each that's nothing the game's over by then oh yeah uh, the games are quicker and if they're not quick then i mean i this would make or break it if, yeah and it it allow I mean, this will go in a deck where you'll tribute that monster that gets equipped with this anyway and that losing 200 a turn yeah it'll yeah. go in something like that yeah maybe I mean, it just... It won't, I mean, or you'll just win. Yeah, it, it's probably just going to go in the beatdowns. Yeah. So if they can get a quick turn to kill on you or clear off your big creature. I mean, mm-hmm. I think that's a big card for beatdown. Yeah, probably. All right, so... Uh, this one's really good, too. Now we're talking about uh, Zolga. What is her name? Is Ishizu? 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 Ishizu Ishtar. Ishtar. Yeah. I mean, this is not a bad card at all. I mean, it's fairy. That's probably the only bad part. Yeah, the only downside is that it's fairy. If it was, like, fiend or something, retarded. Oh, if it was fiend, that'd be amazing. Yeah, I thought it was fiend at first when I saw it, and I was yeah. like, oh my god. So, it, it does get a power decrease from Yami, but it's still, it's 1700. It, it'll go and something. It its tribute effect is crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a 1700, which is already good in this game, and then it's just, yeah, and an then, extra 2,000 life points for tributing. Yeah, and then it has upside to it. Yeah, so, it's just an added bonus. Let, <laughs> yeah, let let me see if there's anything about this. So Yeah, it's just a gain 2,000, no strings attached. I mean, so. it could go in, like, the Cybersteen decks. Oh, Dian, Dian Keto or whatever in Cybersteen decks is probably going to change that pretty well. That's true. I don't know how. I don't think it's, it's still. Yeah, I don't not think it's top tier, but it's definitely going to make it better. Yeah, yeah. With so, only four thousand life points. Yeah, so Zolga definitely one of the better cards out of this group. Uh, yeah, I think. But there's a lot of good cards in this group. Now we're on to the last one we're going to be covering. Is it Odeon or Odeon? It, it's Odeon. Okay. Uh, Temple of the Kings. It's just a solid card. Just good card. Yeah, it's like. It's definitely a combo card. Yeah. Like, it, it's either going to be absolutely useless, or it's going to be super vital to a strategy. There's just not a lot of in-between. Yeah, the trap setting and being able to activate yeah. immediately is pretty insane. Yeah, you kind of want to string Jar Greed on that. Can you only, I'm assuming you can only get one of the mystical beasts that it talks about. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the, the mystical beast isn't... It's not a huge part, but it, I don't know. You know... It could I, go into, like, a I, control, maybe, type deck. I don't I don't think so, because it's too easy to kill. True. It's a lot to go it through. It is a lot of some. setup to just get... Yeah, if anything, I think you'd use the mystical beast just in a setting where you're trying to get a high score. Like, an alternate to Cerberus, not as good as Cerberus, but... If you, I mean, we'll just see. We'll see where it goes. Yeah, the big thing is the combo potential. Yeah. We know we get, we know this card got banned in the real game. 
Yeah. Because so, it, it comboed off. So we'll see so, if it does this. I mean, this is a whole different meta. There's a whole different set of cards. Yeah. So we have no idea. But the Jar of Greed's in here. Yeah. Which is a big part of it. Yeah. There's also a lot of good traps in this game that yeah. make or break games. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, So definitely. it could be it could be a big game changer. Who knows? Mm-hmm. So I believe that's it. So that that's all the cards we're gonna talk about. Let's just they, they they added a bunch of normals and rares. Oh yeah, but we're not gonna go over them because um, well, they're pretty all they're all pretty terrible. <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty mediocre. Uh, Sojin got added, Forest got added, so maybe later we'll see uh, Weevil get a Forest Field skill. Yeah. Maybe Joey gets that'd be an interesting thing. They add more skills to the game. Yeah, it, maybe Joey gets a Warrior Field skill. That the, would the be Cyber great. Shield. They added that. That could Cyber Shield. Hold on, let's get that up there. I uh, want it's. 500 attack for a harpy here i'll look it up real quick on the game so you you know that harpy deck you're making yes it might be a good addition maybe i don't know how 500 I mean, okay it's okay. 500 for free so i mean i don't know yeah it's, I don't know. it it's not again it's they're all mediocre well, i don't <laughs> have the so- grawl sword yet which one's that the, the axe the 500 yeah 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 the axe. so this is a good substitute yeah it's uh probably a uh budget Mm -hmm. substitute but yeah so not a whole lot to talk about in those normal cards so we'll just kind of go over what we thought is what we think are the best cards out of these new i mean we kind of said yeah we did iterate yeah just to reiterate for me it's a grass chopper and phantom dragon ray bronto are the big ones for me i think these will have the most impact that'll be used or just that'll be used for sure yeah, I think for sure okay. use. I, I think Zolga is C-play. I, I think Zolga and Steroids has a bigger chance, honestly. Oh, really? I but, mean, and that's... the Phantom Dragon Ray, though. I mean... That's fair. Like... I, I just... I feel like Zolga is more of a go-in-anything kind of thing, just as it added here some life points. Like, in a... Yeah. Like, any kind of... Because people run... That's true. But I get, then again, there are the Yami decks, so... Yeah, I mean that yeah. it twisters also a thing. I mean, it, two thousand no. life points is big in this. It's nothing to laugh at. Yeah. No. So those decks that are trying to control the game, summon relinquished. Uh, I think they may it want. Could, it could work. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, maybe they drop off a of Jerry Beans man. Yeah. And try exactly. To get a little more utility card in there. But anyways, uh. Anyways, that's so, our covering of this newest patch. We'll have uh, some gameplay videos coming out this week. Yeah, so just uh, so subscribe. like and subscribe, and keep on the lookout for some videos. We'll cover farming decks. We'll cover some meta decks. We'll cover just new packs. Yeah. We'll open packs. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, do everything. We'll be all your coverage for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel. If you have any opinions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, mm-hmm. and we will see you guys next time.